this is the story of wildfire, the most sought-after stallion in all Arizona. In the early days of the great Southwest, herds of wild horses roamed freely. Wild horses had caused much havoc among ranchers by breaking fences, destroying grain fields, stampeding cattle, and worst of all, running off with valuable horse stock. For this reason, man became their worst enemy. They avoided him when they could and fought him when they had to. Each herd had a leader who guarded and guided them. He had to be the fastest and smartest among them. And so, this herd had its leader, Wildfire. Look, there he is. That's Wildfire, all right. We'll fix him this time. He's, we'll cut him off from the herd. He'll steal no more of my horses. in case he tries to double back. Let's go, Higgins. You hit him. He's gone into that box canyon. The rest of it ought to be easy. Hey, Alkali, look. Water. I can sure use it. Come on, partner. The drinks are on me. That's about the only time they are on you, Happy, when they're free. First come, first serve. That was a mighty important drink I just had, Alkali. Yeah. Tasted good to me, too. Yeah, that's not what I mean. No? It was a toast to you. Well, thank you, Happy. What's the occasion? Today's the 10th of August, isn't it? If you say so, Happy. Well, just one year ago today, we started in the horse trading business together. <laughs> well, so we did. Well, here's to horse trading. Happy Hay and Alkali Jones. Uh, shall I say the best in the West? Yes, I'll say it. Best in the West. Drink, Drink up hearty, pal. Drink hearty, pal. <laughs> oh, happy. <laughs> I know he's in this canyon. One good shot will finish him. He mustn't get away. Hey, those fellas are bent on shooting that horse for some reason or other. Let's find out why. Season, ain't you? For your information, we're not hunting. We've been after that wild horse leader for months, and we're going to get him right now. Well, no, you're not. There's a law against shooting wild horses. Well, that horse has stole half the stock in this valley, and we aim to get him law or no law. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. None of that. Let's not start anything we can't finish. Shall we? I don't know who you are, but as fast as I can get to Rawhide City, 
I'm filing charges against you two. Then we'll find out who's right in this case. That'll suit me just fine. Now you two get mounted and clear out of here. Looks like you stirred up a nest of hornets. Yeah. That horse won't get very far. He's hit pretty hard. Let's trail him and see how bad he's hurt. His leg's pretty bad, Alkali. The bone seems to be all right, but he sure lost a lot of blood. It's a shame he's a beautiful animal, but... You know what you gotta do. Yeah. I sure hate to do this. But we gotta put him out of his misery, haven't we? You're not as tough as you make out. You no, know, Alkali. I've been thinking. We got that sling in our pack out there. If I could cauterize that wound, it might stop the bleeding. Keep him off that leg for a while. He, he might be all right. Well, you think we could save him? It's worth a try, anyway. I'm willing. Back to our pack and get that sling, Alkali. We've got some work to do. <laughs> Dr. Alcala, I'll be right back. You know, Alcala, I think he's going to be all right. Keeping his weight off that leg's doing the trick. Hurry up with that match. He's hungry. He's hungry. You know, I start out being a horse trader, and I wind up being a horse's maid. Yeah, but it's worth it. Think how proud you'll feel if he turns out to be all right and can start running free again. The freer that horse runs, the better I'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. All right, boy. It's just about over. Easy now, fella. Oh, boy. Black alkali. All right, fella. Try it out. Let's see how it works. As good as new. That leg's all right. Well, goodbye, wildfire. What do you mean, goodbye? What do you think we built this corral for? 
We'll keep him around for a few days till those muscles harden up. In the meantime, let's go into Rawhide City and try and make a deal on our horses. Story. Told him how difficult it was getting stealing stuff. <laughs> no use letting him know how easy it is. But it ain't gonna be so easy no more. Why not? Lost her alibi. Wildfire? Yeah, he ain't been seen around here in some time. Hmm, that's bad. We'll have to figure some new way out. In the meantime, uh, let's go down to Rawhide City and see Hoker and see if we can divide a little money. Gotta be on my way Gotta hurry for the close of day My old roan I will straddle Set my seat in the saddle And we both will skedaddle To the gal I love Gotta be moving on Gotta hurry for the break of dawn For my heart's palpitating And I'm not hesitating For she said she'd be waiting for me By the sleepy Rio Grande Beneath an old oak tree With stars like diamonds high in the sky That's the place I'm longing to be This is the town corral, isn't it? That's right. Oh, I see you're the local sheriff here. Yeah. Since you don't pack any signs, I'll uh, like to know what you do. Right at present, I'm a horse trader. And while we're on the subject, maybe you can tell me where I can get the best deal in this town. Well, stranger, that's a pointed issue around here. It might be more profitable for you to do your horse trading elsewhere. Word to the wise is sufficient. And another thing. What they say, those two fellows cracked down on the ranchers and I haven't seen anything of them or wildfire since. Oh, that's a funny one. Oh, who are they? Oh, strangers. Nice looking bunch of horses, eh, Hoker? I'll say. I could sure go for that pair of paints. I like the saddler. Well, I like the whole herd. Say, Buck, uh, those are your pintos, aren't they? Well, I swear I saw you pay for them. Oh, I get you. I got them from, uh, from Indian Charlie. Hmm. Yeah, but Indian Charlie's been dead six months. So there's no one to prove he didn't. Doug, you're the head of the Cattlemen's Association. Now, Buck here's making a formal claim for those horses. Go and get them for him. Howdy. My name's Doug Holker of the Cattlemen's Association. You mind telling us where you got those horses? I bought some of them. The others I traded for. Do you want the history of each one? No. Just the two pintos there. Because they're mine. You're mistaken, my friend. I bought those pinos in Little River. That's a lie. I bought them right here from Indian Charlie. I can swear to that. Well, in that case, I'll have to take possession of the entire herd and hold them until I can make an investigation. Not so fast. If he bought those horses here, how does it happen I got them in Little River? Because you stole them, you thief.
How old are you? 38. You want to see 39? Yeah. Then take your hand off that gun. Easy with your gun. I'm glad you're back, Sheriff. Come over here. These are bills of sale. Pick out the one on those two pinos and read it to these umbers. Hmm. To whom it may concern, for cash consideration, I sell to Happy Hay two four-year-old pintos on this date. Signed, Len Perkins, Little River. Witness by Sheriff Thompson. This is a sheriff's signature, I know it. Looks like Buck made a mistake. Well, most anybody can make a mistake. Besides, Pinto's look pretty much alike. Uh, going my way, Fang? It's a good thing you had your papers on you, Happy. That cattleman's death on horse thieves. So am I. Especially when they work from behind the desk. Well, looks like they were determined to get away with our horses, but... Gee, there's nothing I like like a good scrap. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll be seeing you boys around some more. I guess you will, Sheriff. Bye. So long. Bye. You know, Happy, this reminds me of that Save old... it, Alkali. We better get on about our business of getting some feed for these horses, or we won't have anything to fight for. <laughs> okay, Happy. That's a pretty dangerous hombre. The quicker we get him out of town, the better it'll be for us. What's eating you, Fanning? He's got nothing on us. Yes, but he's smart enough to get something on us. I'll show him how smart he is. The minute his back is turned, we can steal his whole herd. Yes, you tried that already once, Buck. Yeah, I know, but I got methods. Good luck. I, uh, know he didn't want to say anything with the other three around, but what did you learn while I was away? The deal's coming through fine. But we'll have to work fast to have things tied up the way we want them. Well, remember, Fanny, only you and I are cutting in on this. Yes, but Buck and the others know the deal. They could tell plenty. Yeah, they know too much. Don't worry. We can handle them when the time comes. Happy, you know that big fella? I didn't like his looks. I don't like the looks of any of them. You go over and pick up our provisions off, all right? We are doing that. I'll go down the street and see if I can make a deal on our stock. Well, you're at it. You better pick up an extra sack of mash. Extra sack? Don't forget, we've still got wildfire back at the camp. Oh, wildfire. Would that I could forget Glad to see you again. Uh, what was your name? The name's Happy Hay, and I'm very glad that you're so glad to see me. But I don't think I've ever met you before. Well, it seems I've seen your face before. Aren't you from across the line? I've crossed a lot of lines in my days, miss, but I don't think I've ever heard one quite like this before. I saw the trouble you had with Buck over your horses. Do you know that bird? Only that he's a troublemaker. He's pretty bad. In fact, that whole gang is bad. Why don't you look where you... I thought we were supposed to meet at the corral. See what you've done? You let her get away. Well, I might have known. Chasing our gal. What do you mean, chasing her? She likes me. She wanted to talk to me. Yeah, looks like she wanted to talk to you. Go on in and get some more provisions. Oh. Well, Ezra, the next time I'm in town, I'll stop in and see the missus. Hey, yeah, do that. Well, so long.
Howdy. Can you tell me where I could find Ezra Mills? You're looking right straight at him, son. Oh, well, my name's Happy Hay. I want to talk to you about selling some horses. Well, I'll tell you. The buying and selling of horses in a normal way is sort of shot in this neck of the territory. Fact is, around here, uh, men don't even stop to give a bill of sale, if you understand what I mean. Well, that's the way it is, huh? Well, I've sure come a long way to find that out. You know, I ain't never done any business with you, Happy, but I heard a lot of good about you. Now, if you'll take the advice of an old horse trader, you'll gather your herd together and move out. Thanks for the tip, Ezra, but this town's getting more interesting every minute. I think I'll stick around. Happy! Happy! Happy, come quick! Come here. See you later. What's up? Happy, you know those two pintos we had? Yeah? Yeah, well, we haven't got them anymore. They're gone. I've looked everywhere for them. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Come on. Look. You see what I mean, Happy? They're gone. I'm beginning to see what Ezra meant. What do you mean, Happy? Hey, Alkali, do you see what I see? No. Well, all those tracks are leading into the corral. Yeah. So here go the tracks of three horses going this way. Yeah. That means there was only one rider. Oh, it's as plain as the nose on your face. Come on, you're going to see some action. I met in town. That's the horse thief you met in town. Well, don't just sit here. Let's do something. One horse thief's neck's no better than another. Don't get excited, Alkali. Let's find out a little more about this. Oh. You get around quite a lot, don't you? Looks like the little lady ain't so talkative this time. Nice looking pinners you've got there. Where'd you get them? <laughs> you got here sooner than I expected. I don't see anything to laugh about, miss. Being caught red-handed with stolen horses is no joke. Oh, I'm not trying to make a joke of it. It's just that I wanted to talk to you and didn't get a chance in town. I knew these pinners were yours and knew you'd be smart enough to trail them out here. Oh. I see. Just what is it you'd like to talk to me about? Well, it's a long story. If you don't mind, we can go sit down. You two, uh, I'm sure, won't miss me. Not a bit. Yeah. Oh, how do you do, ma'am? My name's Alkali Jones. I'm a horse trader by profession. Say, ma'am, I wonder if you ever heard that old saying, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Yes, Mr. Jones. Did you ever hear the old expression, there's many aspects, the cup and the lip? Yes, sir. And there's that one about, he always gets help who helps himself.
Do you happen to be connected with the law? Only through trying to stay on the right side of it. Why? I wrote the United States Marshal asking that someone be sent in here to do a little investigating. And when I saw you in town, a stranger, I thought you might be the man. Why didn't you tell me this in town? I saw Mr. Fanning coming and didn't care to talk to him. He insists on buying my ranch, and for sentimental reasons, I don't want to sell, so I avoided him. Just what is it you want investigated? There's been a lot of horse stealing going on in this valley lately, and, oh, I think it started about three months ago. Everyone blames it on a wild horse. They claim he's gone off with about every herd here, but I don't believe it. You know, I have looked everywhere. Ain't seen hiding the hair of those horse traders for an hour. Hey, look. Them two pinos are gone. Wait till they're being traded somewhere. Yeah, we'll pick them up later. Let's run these up to the hideout. All right, open the gate, Moose. waiting for this lawman to show up. We'll do a little snooping around on our own. We can't tell what we might run on to. You know, seek and you shall find. I'll try not to worry too much, Miss Gordon. I've got a hunch everything will be all right. Ah, oh, cheer up, miss. You know it's always darkest just before dawn. Alkali, there's one saying I wish you had learned. Speak only when you're spoken to. It's all right with you, miss. We'll leave those pillows in your corral for the time being. I'll take care of them. Yeah, besides which, that will give him a chance to come back to see you. ready to take him across the border. There's them two saddle tramps out for a canter through the hills. The hills make good tombstones. We've got things to find out. Yeah. Dead men can't talk. Yeah, but couldn't that crease them a little bit, half? Just a small crease. Nothing doing. We'd better split up. I'll meet you in town. I never heard of this. You get.
Wi-Fi. Lie down. Lie down, boy. Sure, things have got into an awful mess. All on account of that wild stallion that's moved into on this valley. Why, it was just the other day I lost two more of my best saddlers. We'd have put an end to all this if it hadn't have been for those two birds stopping us out in the hills. By the way, Sheriff, have you seen anything of them two? No, can't say as I have. If you remember, that was a mighty poor description you gave me of them the other day. Hey, look. Well, that man's been injured. Hurt bad. Let's have a look. Got a bad flesh wound. Give me some bandages and water, Judy. I'll start the water boiling, Judy. Shall we take him inside, Johnny? No, he shouldn't be moved for a minute. What happened, pardon? Dry ghost. In the hills. Do you recognize anybody? Buck. Where's your partner? Tom. We can fix him right now. Johnny, can I see you a minute? Yeah, Carter? That's one of the birds that stopped us out in the hills. And by a streak of luck, that's wildfire he just rode in on. Yeah, what about it? Well, we sort of wanted to get your permission to destroy him. Uh, if it's all the same to you, Carter, I'd rather you'd get that permission from Doug Holker. After all, he's head of the Cattlemen's Association. Comes more under the heading of his business to tell whether or not an animal should be destroyed. That's all right. I'm for going in to see Holker right now. Come on. Johnny, he's such a beautiful animal. I hate to see him destroyed. Yeah, so do I. I'm gonna ride into town and find Happy. No, Happy, I ain't seen nobody moving your horses. But you can't say I didn't warn you, too. You see, you traded your horses uh, without being a party to the contract. That's all. I thought maybe you might have seen something. Well, I'm sorry I can't help you. Well, thanks anyway, Ezra. Uh, I'll keep my eyes open. Just a minute, Happy. I got some bad news for you. Alkali's been shot. What? How bad has he hurt? He's got a deep flesh wound inside, but he's being taken care of. Does he know who did it? Said he was Buck. Yeah. They tried to get both of us back in the hills. Sheriff, they've asked for it. We're having a showdown. All right. Go ahead and arrest him. Buck and those two that run with him. I'll swear to the charge of attempted murder. It's a pretty big order, me working alone. Have you got another one of those? 
Sure, why? Because you're swearing me in as your deputy. Yeah. Come on over to my office. Well, at least you got one of them. You can take care of the other fellow when he shows up. Well, we won't have to wait long. Look. Bruce, Buck, Steve, I'm arresting you. Why, what's the charge, Sheriff? Attempted murder. Why, that's ridiculous. Who's making the charge? My deputy, Happy Hay. Deputy? That's right. Be a natural born troublemaker, Mr. Hay. But you're not going to make it stick. And I have a lot of it in this town. Maybe that's what's wrong with it. I'll send word to Judge Polson. Be at their first hearing in the morning. Come on, get going. I'll send someone down to the jail and warn the boys to keep their mouths shut. Well, it's Happy Hayes' mouth. We want to shut, and quick. Poker! Poker! We finally got our hands on Wildfire. Got him down to Town Corral now. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Well, Sheriff Deal said we'd have to get your permission as head of the Cattlemen's Association before we could destroy him. Let's have a look, Poker. There he is. Well, that takes care of three of them. Now, well, we could just get something on Fanning and Holker. I've got a hunch he has been with the Cattlemen's Association. It's only a cover-up. Yeah. You know, speaking of Holker, that reminds me of something. It was wildfire that outlaw stallion had brought alkali into Judy's ranch. Yeah? Yeah, said the horse saved him out in the hills. Huh. Brought him in just as gentle as a lamb. You should have seen him plunge and cut up when Carter and the other ranchers threw a rope on him. Threw a rope on him? What do you mean? Well, they captured him. Wanted me to let him shoot him right there, but I didn't have the heart. Where have they got him now? Well, the last I saw of him, they were dragging him in to see Holker to get his permission to shoot him. And aside from all the horse dealing Holker, he's a man killer. And us ranchers demand that you let us shoot him right now. Better let him do it, Doug. All right, men. Go ahead. Let him have it. Put that gun down. I told you once before not to shoot that horse. Hoker said we could, and he speaks for the Cattlemen's Association. I say you can't, and I speak for the law. Get in there and turn him loose. Get back in the hills where you belong. Hmm. Sheriff, I demand you arrest him. Did you ever hear of a sheriff arresting his own deputy for saving a life? That's a song you like so well. On the banks of the sunny San Juan Watching the river roll on Wondering if it will reach the sea Wondering where my old pal can be At the foot of this old western hill I'm watching and waiting here still All that 
left of my schemes is to sit with my dreams on the banks of the sunny San Juan. Roll on, dear Ori, This is one they can't blame on wildfire. Why? You see, I put shoes on all my trading horses. I checked every track around that corral. There hadn't been a barefooted horse anywhere near it. Wildfire's been blamed for a lot of things he didn't do. We better head into town. Judge Bolson's due to have a hearing for those two fellas that tried to get you an alkali out in the hills. Come on, alkali. You're going to be the... Courthouse. Well, there's no need to meet at the courthouse. I've released the prisoners. Released the prisoners? Why, Judge? Dimmit was a frame up. You and your pal trying to blacken innocent men. Bucking the slippery court to the hills, beating, or trying to steal a band of horses. That's why they fired on you. And you believed him, huh? Swore to him. Pretty clever using wildfire to steal horses. You're about to save you from being shot. Now hold on a minute, Judge. There's something wrong here. I, as sheriff, can vouch for these men. Who well, you know no charge? And you... And you know what horse stealing means? Take him in, Holker. Judy. Oh, he's got no horse. Can't get far. 
No, horses. We pick up the trail. All right, I'll take his pal and Johnny Deal and take him into town. How'd you two get away? Well, while they were busy looking for you, it made ours easy. Yeah, Happy, we're in a tough spot. I didn't get a chance to tell you what I found out last night. Well, far away. After I found our horses, I went back to town and did a little detective work. Yeah? Johnny, have you ever heard of the Crown Ranch? Why, certainly everybody's heard of the Crown Ranch. That's the biggest cattle outfit west of the Divide. Read this. I got it out of Holker's office. Uh, dear Mr. Holker, this is your authority to purchase for us at the price you outlined all the ranches situated east of the divide in Rawhide Valley. Signed, George Borman, President of Crown Ranch. Yeah, but there's no law against a man representing somebody to buy up ranches, so that still doesn't tell us anything. In my book, it does. Johnny, has Holker tried to buy up any of the ranches around here? Not that I know of, but Fanning has. Well, just the other day, he offered Judy a ridiculous price for her place. There's your answer. Fanning and Holker are working together. Yeah, but that's still within the law. Granted, but the game they're working is against the law. Stealing the rancher's stock to work a freeze out. I see it. Fanning buys the ranches for a song, then he sells them through Holker to the Crown uh, Ranch for a big profit. Right. Yeah, then you think that Fanning and Holker are stealing horses, huh? I don't only think it, I'm aiming to prove it. That's right. You men have a look over that ridge. I'll take the canyon. If I see him, I'll fire a shot. All right, Judge. Hold it, Judge. Young man, I've been looking for you. I've been looking for you. Get off that horse. Well? We need a good witness, Judge. And you just fit the ticket. Ah. Well, this will be another charge against you. Kidnapping, young man. Not that we need any more charges to hang you, but just to warn you that you'll never get away with this thing, you know. And furthermore, let Save me Save your you... breath, Judge. We've got work to do. There are our horses, Judge. We got the papers to prove it. I believe that part of your story. But you'll never convince me that Holker and Fanning are horse thieves. That's the reason you're here. We're aiming to prove it. Hey, here comes somebody now. Oh, I know that fellow. Sure. That's Jess Dolan, a notorious trader of stolen horses. Let's get down there and see what this is all about. Judge, you'd better keep a lookout from here. Might be some action. Yeah. Happy, how about that gun of mine? <clears throat> Ain't been in one of these things for years, you know. If we could sneak up to that wall, we'll be able to hear what they're talking about. Yeah. I'll go around the back. Go ahead. horses I came in, and I must say they're pretty fair. But I've had a long way to come, and I've got a long way to go back. All right. You can have the whole deal for 800. It's a deal. It's Hulk. The 
just makes everything perfect. As soon as he gets inside, we'll nail them all. How'd it go? Judge Polson was all ready to lock him up and they got away. He got a posse out looking for him now. Who's that? Oh, a couple of saddle tramps had drifted in here and were giving us a little trouble. Said they were horse traders. Mm, Happy Hay and Alkali Jones. You ever hear of them? I'll say. And they're usually working on the side of the law. You all ready? All set. Let's get them. Someone's out there. He hadn't done that. We could have surprised him and taken him without a fight. We still got a chance. Fanny, I'm arresting you. Come on out with your hands up. Give me cover, Johnny. It was a mere nothing. You know, as I always say, the bigger they come, the harder they fall. of the country in a couple of days, Wildfire. So you take care of yourself, fella. Stay up here with your herd where you belong. So long, boy. 